do you remember the concept of prime numbers that we have learned in grade 5? Of course, who'd forget those days? There are 25 prime numbers between 1 to 200. There are 
are mathematicians in our school too? Oh, really? Yeah, so here are the 9th graders coming up to explain about the volume of the sphere. A group of children have organized a midsummer party. Summer parties are incomplete without watermelons. Mom, what do you want to prepare as snacks for us today for the party? Hmm, let's see. We need samosas and something to cool off. Ah, yes, watermelons. Let's cut them into pieces. Yes, Mom. Then if the watermelon is cut into pieces like this, what is the magic in that? Mom, the volume of individual pyramid added together, it forms the volume of a watermelon. Oh, then what is the volume of a pyramid? It is 1 by 3 times base time height. Oh. Do you know the sum of bases of all the pyramids is equal to the surface area of the watermelon? Since height is nothing but the radius of it. If we substitute 4 pi r square in the base and r into the height, the formula is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Oh, then 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of a sphere. Thank you children, I've learned so much today. And so, the children enjoyed the watermelon and had a big feast. The mother was happy that she was able to learn about the volume of a sphere which is 4 by 3 pi r cube. My mom asked me to get a table cover and a lace to cover the dining table top. I'm really confused how to get it. Don't worry Esther, here comes grade 6 students to help you. Hi Shreya, I'm here. Hey, you are a little earlier than we planned on doing combined studies. Yes, I completed my work, so I arrived early. What are you doing Shreya? Are you stuck with something? Yes. I'm assisting my mother in her purchase of a dining table cloth. Oh really? How are you helping her? In math class, our teacher taught us the concept that I am using to measure the size. What concept are you using Shreya? I am using the concept area. How do you apply that concept to determine the table size? First, I am finding the length and width of the table. Since the table is in a rectangular shape, I can use the formula area of a rectangle. I found the length and breadth of the table are 15 cm and 3 cm. Therefore, required cloth is equal to 15 cm multiplied by 3 cm is equal to 45 square cm. This is how I applied math in my daily life. Wow, what a brilliant idea to incorporate math into our daily lives. I have a small suggestion. How about we make the fabric look more appealing? How can we do that? We can arrange the lace around the cloth to make it look more pleasant. Another mathematical concept can be used in this scenario. Is it the perimeter concept you are referring to? Yes, you are right. I will be using the perimeter concept to measure the lace. Since you have already found the length and the breadth that is 15 cm and 3 cm, I will just be adding these measures two times. That is 15 cm plus 15 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm is equal to 36 cm. Therefore, I will require 36 cm of lace to wrap around the cloth. This was such a wonderful experience. I never imagined math could be used in a such a practical way in our daily lives. We could complete all our tasks quickly and efficiently. This proves that Mathematics gives us a hope that every problem has a solution. So friends, our land is known for mathematics. There have been many popular personalities who have contributed to the field of mathematics. Learning math is fun. When you start enjoying it through dance, music, art and many other activities. Remember, nothing is difficult once you start loving it. Now, it's our turn to take it to the next level. We being proud Indians. Let us all continue to contribute towards the field of mathematics. Jai Hind!